Hi, John. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. Glad so we to have be back here. with us. Oh, we are so glad to have you back. So um, John Bernstein, or as many of you um, lovingly referred to him as his uh, name, Slim Good Body, is back with us uh, for our content conversations this week. And John reached out to me last week uh, with a spectacular and timely idea. So um, John, I'll let you kind of maybe jump in here and talk about why our the content we're talking about today is going to be so important to our viewers. Okay, um, when I created um, the Daily Almanac a while ago, um, I had wanted to combine a number of items that I thought would be helpful for teachers. Um, I had, of course, a health tip, but I also had this day in history, something that was cross curricula. And what I thought at the time that was really important was something on our government. Uh, I called it, um, what did I call it? I call uh, We the People, yes. Um, and it was about 150 different short spots on areas of, of citizenship that I thought was important. I had felt like, you know, citizen, citizenship had been, civics had been given a short shrift over the years. Um, and I, I thought it was an important subject and this was years ago. So the series um, involves a number of sections. We talk about the three branches of government uh, in small chunks. Um, we talk about uh, the history of the Constitution. We talk about the amendments, uh, the process of making amendments. Uh, we talk about some of the symbols. Uh, the, uh, why do we have the Great Seal, for instance? And and you know what what does it mean? And um, and some of the great moments through through history and the formation of our country and and some of the theory behind it, going back to the Greeks all in short bite-sized segments. Um, and so I was thinking, you know, they're part, it, it, it's been on Learn360 for quite a while, but, but um, it struck me that particularly at this history, our nation's history, particularly with the strife and, and the uh, disunity and, and the, well, situation in general, it would be good if we could harken back to some things that we all agree on. Uh, part of that is to explain what the system of government is. I mean, I think we, many of the people who are listening to me, you know, when I say the three branches of government, I mean, everybody sort of thinks they know, but there's many people who may not fully understand the separation of powers and, and what one group is allowed to do and how the government is made to work and how actually Madison created this government knowing there would be dissension. I mean, that was part of, he didn't want, didn't want to make it easy. He didn't want to have one group that could then control all the rest. He was afraid of that. He wanted competing interests. It's written into our constitution. It's really fascinating that, that these people were smart enough to understand um, that division has its place as well as, as coming together so that, that no group uh, these are 158 little clips uh, running anywhere from about a minute, I would say, a minute, minute and a half, uh, searchable. And so if you wanted to do something just on, you know, the first Congress or the Emancipation Proclamation or whether the Second Amendment or the First Amendment or the process of making an amendment, uh, why, uh, you know, the Supreme Court and how that works, what is a law? You know, how are laws enacted? I mean, things what we think we know, and we sort of know generally, I've, I've really sort of uh, zeroed in on. So it's a lot of good information and done, obviously, primarily directed to make it simple for children to understand, uh, but not talking down to them, you know, just sort of explaining as best I could. You've done a great job of that. So for those of you that are just joining us, um, I'm back here with John Bernstein, otherwise known as Slim Good Body, and we're just catching up with him about a series that he has produced and is available on our streaming platform of Learn360 called We the People, Civics for Kids. And this is a series that is uh, 150 parts and is all short bite-sized clips on parts of 
um, uh, civic, civic duty, the government, the organization of the government. It has a lot of really great bite-sized pieces that we can use for educating our elementary students. Um, I'll mention also, John, uh, typically we don't get to see you here. You're, we are with St. Vincent near Barbados right now. In, enjoying yeah, a little I'm, I'm, I'm huh? enjoying I'm enjoying my little time away from uh, which, well, we had actually fled COVID. Uh, we live in Maine, which had actually been doing quite well. Um, and uh, we came to a place where we could swim and be outside, but like everything else, COVID knows no borders. And so Correct. we're now, yeah. now we're suffering, we're beginning to suffer down here. But it's a beautiful place. Um, I've been working on a, this is somewhat separate, but I've been working on a, um, I had a stage show on the Second Amendment. It's called The Second to explain it. I wanted to find a way to deal with a second that was not going to get people riled up one way or another. And I figured one of the ways to do that would be just simply talk through the history, the court cases. And then when we couldn't do it as a show past summer, I shot it as a video. And uh, so I've been down here trying to edit it and put it to a musical. It's a musical on the Second Amendment. So. Uh, I, I, I'm very interested in history. I've always been interested in history uh, and, and in government. My, my first major that I ever had was uh, political science. Um, my mom wa was a judge when I was, uh, when I was growing up and was very interested in public service and uh, being part of uh, you know, local government. My wife, uh, Chrissy, uh, ran and, and was a state uh, representative in Maine. Uh, and uh, so these kind of things, I don't, I mean, my, my feeling is towards um, being healthy, obviously, a slim good body, promoting good health. I think uh, healthy society. I mean, that's why I did, so we're talking about a healthy environment, but a healthy society, society in which the parts function together as not always in harmony, but certainly towards a common good. Um, I think is vitally important. And I think that if children learn how the system works, like it's like anything, it's really not any different than teaching about the body. You know, if you if teach about the body, you think, oh, isn't this that leads you to, to take care of yourself a little bit better? I feel the same thing is true about our political system, about our civic life. We have a civic life. If you understand it, you might begin to value it more. You certainly understand it, not, and we will have more educated consumers. So when somebody gets up and gives a speech or they hear something on the news and they you know, about a new Supreme Court nominee or, or a law being enacted, they, this will, it won't be a mystery. They'll have a greater sense of what that means. And therefore also for your teachers, for teachers listening, when you see something on the news, when you talk about uh, the electoral college, I mean, it's a little old now, but there's a piece on the electoral college. When you talk about, which we just saw, there's a piece on the oath of office. Why that oath of office? How did that come about? Um, and when now we talk about, you know, the, the Senate, and, uh, in, I don't know if we're talking about impeachment, but there's, there's stuff in there about tons of stuff, tons and tons of stuff about our government. There is. And I think that's what is, um, makes us a popular series. And it's been, the longevity of it has really proven its worth. Um, I was looking at some of the most popular titles. And so we've talked about some of the, some of the, the topic areas that this um, large, again, 150 part series covers. Um, I think what you've done here is you've given so much information that is, you know, small bite size where a teacher can incorporate this into a lesson and talk about the basics. What are the three branches of government? If you're talking about something like a simple, the electoral college, but making it something where it can really start a conversation, be part of a lesson, and you're addressing that specific topic. But then you also go in and there's, I was actually looking at the five most popular, and I didn't share this with you, John, but it's kind of interesting. So the five most popular kind of speak to, I think more of some of our standards that we get into, um, you know, a lot of the standards at the elementary level, we're looking at, you know, recognizing and understanding, you know, US symbols, icons, things like that. Um, so the top five titles from your large series are the White House, the Lincoln mm -hmm. Memorial, the Washington Monument, the Great Seal of the United States, and Mount Rushmore. So I think it shows too how not only are you talking about very specific 
um, maybe more civic minded um, rules or, or, or ways right. of our government, but you're talking about some of those very commonly studied symbols and, and, right. and icons. So there's a lot well, covered. It's because the, the country, our country is not only a country of laws, it's a country of ideas and a country of ideals and symbols that we make like the Lincoln Memorial or the Washington, you know, or the, or uh, Mount Rushmore, uh, where we put into flesh, so to speak, the ideals of our society, uh, that we encapsulate them are very, very important. I mean, they're, they, they symbol, they symbolize, they symbolize our country for us. So yes, I could certainly understand that, that teachers would go that way. But I would encourage other teachers who are listening to actually just read through the, the different topics and put up a topic every day. You know, it's only, as we say, about a minute. Start a discussion. Um, see what the kids know. You'd be, you know, and just have fun with it. Use it in a lesson or just say, hey, you know, a little, how about the civics? Uh, we'll, we'll have a moment of civics, which is citizenship. You know, in, in Biden's speech today, he talks so much about, in his inaugural speech, um, except, well, no, I guess it's inaugural speech, uh, the promise of our country so much. And the fact that, that we are all in it together and we're united, you know, to be united, the United States. Um, I think that if we recognize our own responsibilities as citizens to this, he said, I can't do this alone. He said, it's all of us together. We all have to work together. So I think, I think this is important, particularly at this time. That's why I called you, you know? That's why I called you, Ann, because I thought there's a real opportunity and a real need here. I remember I called, I called Ann last February out of the blue, I was actually down here as well. And I said, you know, I think I should do something on COVID. I actually shot that video, which went up on your site here, down here in last February. And I look back and I think, oh my gosh, you know, that was when I was saying we we're almost closing in on a on 100,000 cases, you know? And I thought, and gosh, to have seen that explosion. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I, I, I'm trying to, uh, I try to respond even as I'm moving into retirement, I try to respond to what's maybe vital in the society. Well, and it comes across, John. You're just so passionate about educating um, and, and providing resources that educators can trust. I, I can tell you, I've heard from so many educators over the past few months. You know, we are always trying to hit media literacy uh, head on, trying to make sure teachers know that we have trusted, vetted educational resources. Um, that are unbiased, that we are looking to really give the information to our students so that they can make the choices for themselves. Right. Exactly. Um, that's what really shines through with this series is you're giving the information about what it is to live in the United States, the roles of citizens, and what is a nice, I think, um, or is an attractive aspect about this as well is you're talking about how to be a good citizen by way of the responsibilities, right? So what are our rights and what are our responsibilities as citizens? And I think those come across as um, underlying um, you know, just areas of focus and all these, a lot of the titles, I should say, I was kind of looking at different ones um, and there were so many. And for teachers that are joining now and maybe aren't uh, looking to have civics be part of their curriculum, you know, there's a lot of different standards that this content does address on um, whether or not you're just looking at historical um, analysis, chronological, spatial thinking. We're talking a lot about how the events of today, um, obviously there's a lot that are touching on how to be a good citizen. I mentioned earlier about recognize U.S. symbols, um, icons, traditions, um, whether or not you're looking at um, biographies, people that made a difference in our history. Yes, so right. there's that's just kind of grasping off a top few as, as if for, for those of you that are kind of popping in and out here, we're with John Bernstein talking about his series, We the People, um, Civics for Kids. It's a 150 part civics uh, series that's available on Learn 360. It's really elementary focused. Although I'll say, you know, some of these are definitely geared where if you're popping them in for some older students, they're short, so um, they might be relevant for even older students. Um, 
John, you know, your passion for educating, as I said, it just so comes across so authentically and honestly, you know, when you're making content, um, what is your vision for how your content will impact students or how do you envision teachers using this? Uh, well, I think my, I think things have changed. Uh, educational material for well, about 45 years, almost 50 years now. And um, there's a lot of things that I used to do that were shows, you know, it would be on a particular topic, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, on the show, 15 minutes. Um, then some, well, you know, it was actually as, as teachers became more and more overwhelmed with having to do standardized testing, for instance, and as they became more and more just caught up in, in less this, now this is, I, I, I'm a fairly, apolit I'm not an apolitical person, but I'm an apolitical person within the context of talking to everybody and also with the information that I did. There's no agenda on this series. I'm not promoting anything other than just telling you how the system works. Uh, but it seemed to me that teachers were being a little overwhelmed and not given the freedom that they deserve. This is my, my statement to teach in a way that they wanted. They had so many boxes to cross. So I created this series called Deskercise. And Deskercise was, I knew kids needed to exercise, but I also knew, you know, physical, physical PE classes were being cut all across the country. So how could I manage to bring PE in a way that would be more likely to be used. So desk exercises is, is also got civics in there. And we, we, I mean, we have a whole week of, on the election where we kick off the election campaign and we parade around, we use our bodies uh, using the theme of election theme or, or the President's Day or Explorer's Day. So I'm just the long answer to your question. Uh, so, I've now tried to figure out over the years that I need to provide a kernel of information that you, the teacher, can take and massage into your lesson plan that you want to use. So that's my vision. I try to come up with something, um, um, I'm trying to come up with something that um, is just uh it's just a tool you know it's like i this is it, it, i'm i'm giving you a toolbox uh this is a toolbox that happens to be a toolbox that deals with civics and and you'll see the whole list and and take it out you see something in the news you know if you if you see it that there the senate you know is debating a law you know and you and it's in the news you know so take out something and, and talk about it, find out a little bit about the senate debate or how a law gets enacted or you see something where you know somebody says oh it's up in front of the supreme court well of course you know that but i got a little tiny bit that, that might explain something to the kids that would start a discussion and it's not and it's also math by the way i wanted to point out i mean there's uh there's our country is a majority, you know, I mean, it, it, it deals with numbers as well, you know, so numbers and ideas, that's uh, ideas more than anything else. So that's, and I try to make it fun. I try to make it interesting. I look for something that's a way of expressing it that, that uh, maybe it's just not quite, it's not didactic. You know, if I could have sung it, I would have sung it. You know, I started, I've been writing songs forever. So I think, I think musically kind of, anyway, long answer. Again. No, that's fantastic. No, I, I think, it, I, I can tell you, I appreciate hearing about, you know, your thought process and all the producers we have, because, you know, it's something different. You're not just telling a story. You're also looking to engage engage young minds and maybe a topic that you don't know what their interest level is, right? So often teachers come at, topic and they're trying to get someone interested in right this isn't necessarily your you know netflix or something else where you're finding that something you're interested in playing it right we're we're trying to get these students interested in encouraging them to learn more about something that we hope will spark that that energy to learn more and and continue on and and and, and build out you know a larger knowledge base on things so i it's exciting to hear so thank you for that <laughs> thank you for your explanation and um 
And I, I think you do a great job. So for teachers who um, are interested in bringing, you know, what maybe is in the news or um, just in general civics, citizenship, um, our political system to the classroom in a way that is unbiased, isn't coming at it with a political agenda, and is just trying to teach our young minds about how our government works. I think you'll find this is a really fantastic series for you. Um, I'm going to put a link to those top five titles. We, I made it a little quick playlist, um, and I will share that link in the comments section here. So if you're curious about checking them out for our Learn360 customers, you can click on that link and you'll be able to view those titles. Um, if you are coming across this uh, video and you are not a subscriber, I encourage you to go to infobase.com. Um, you can log uh, to me, you can uh, request a free trial and you can check out these resources and the other 182,000 that we have available uh, for teachers to use in the classroom, really building up that toolbox, John. Um, so we really encourage you to check these out. And if you have any questions or comments, um, I'm sure John would be, would love to answer them. I'm just going to pop in here to see if we have any questions. Oh, we have our Bonnie Bland was watching us and gave us a like. Bonnie's one of our great, uh, great uh, teacher trainers in Texas. She's a big Learn360 fan. Bonnie, if you're still here, thank you so much. She gave thank us you, a big Bonnie. thumbs up. Uh, thanks, Bonnie. Um, so if there's any questions, I'm not seeing them pop in quite yet. Um, if they come after, uh, we will make sure we pop back in and answer any questions that come about. Um, but as always, John, thank you. You're my first repeat producer. So you're the first producer we've had on here twice, John. So thank you oh, for your commitment. It's to always educate. a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Well, enjoy uh, enjoy that beautiful location. Uh, I in, will. In the I will. Help you stay healthy. And, uh, and you as well. Thank you and so much. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.